check, check. Okay, we are on 2-6. Um, geometry, algebraic proofs. Okay, yesterday we talked about postulates being statements of fact, and today we're going to take that uh, take that one step further. We're actually going to put numbers to it. So anytime you see algebraic, that means we're going to to have some variables and some numbers all put together. So I'm going to start off with the very first example on page 134. So let's do that one first. Okay, we have prove that if negative 5 times x plus 4 equals 70, then x equals negative 18. Again, an if-then conditional statement. So we're going to prove this. Um, step by step. So the first part is always going to be the given. And I'm going to make this into a T. And so I've got, I want to clean that up a little bit. Here we go. Here's your statement. And here's the reason. So first statement, negative 5 times x plus 4 equals 70. Reason, it was given. So now I'm going to go to my second step, and I would... Um, Go ahead and do distributive property and take negative 5 times x, which is negative 5x, minus 20 equals 70. And the reason is the distributive property. And then I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So that's going to give me negative 5x equals 9. And so that's my addition property because I just added 20 to both sides. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. So that's going to give me x equals negative 18. Uh, I don't like the way I wrote that. Negative. I still don't like that. x equals <clears throat> negative 18 and that was our division property <clears throat> nothing new on stuff that we have that we've done before it's just now we are proving each step Let's take a look at one more. Okay, let's look at 3A on page 136. If angle A is congruent to angle B, and angle A equals 37,
then angle B equals 37. So two column proof. So I have statements. and reasons. Statement first. Statement first is angle A is congruent to angle B. And angle A is congruent to 37 and that is given okay now I kind of need to dissect the the given statement I'm trying to find out what angle B is so I need to restate a relationship of A to B Okay, and angle A is congruent to angle B. Okay, I'm having some crazy things going on here. I'm going to have to rewatch this video and, and see where it went. Uh, but, but I don't need to restate this. I made a small mistake there. So, okay, we are given angle A is congruent to angle B and angle A is 37. Second step is angle A is congruent to angle B because of angle congruence. And so in the third step, we just want to kind of state the obvious here. We know that because they are equal and that A equals 37, that we also know angle B is congruent to 37. We do that through the law of substitution. Because basically what I did is, um, in the given, it says A is 37. In the second statement, it says A equals B. So I just substituted B for A. And so that is now what I want to prove. So angle B is equal or congruent to angle 37. Now, what you will see is in the book, they took this and they um, they substituted 37 which is what I should have done is congruent to angle B because I just substituted in 37 for that A and the step up above it and then they went one more step and they changed it why do I keep doing that and then they just flipped it around to angle B is congruent to 37 and that's just this symmetric property all of the symmetric property the substitution uh, reflexive transitive all of those ones we've gone over those before but you'll find those on uh, page 134 so key properties Key properties are found on page, starting on page 134, and so on. Okay, so that is algebraic proofs, and that should do it. Chapter 2, Section 6.